is not nothing that I'm trying to do that's new. Um, I'm just who I am. I'm going to lead by example. I'm going to lead vocally. Um, and like I said, they're giving me a great opportunity here. Um, and I'm just here to help in any way possible. I know we got a lot of new guys, a lot of young guys. So, I'm, you know, I'm going I'm to show them the way. Anyway, I mean, any way that I can. And, you know, these guys ask a lot of questions. So that's always, you know, a sign of, of guys wanting to be great, guys wanting to be really good in this league. And I'm, I'm here for that. So, you know, I'm, I'm only 30 years old, so I'm not, I'm not old at all. But I, I, I've been through a lot in this, in this, in this league, and, and I can show them a lot. So I'm, I'm here to help any way I can. I tell you, in the time that you, you are on the court with the guys and you've still been in the facility, what have you learned? about your teammates even before day one? Um, I mean, guys are very, very hard workers. I mean, everybody, this is the first time I've been on a team, really, that everybody's been here since the first year to have a great opportunity here with the Wizards and somebody that really wanted me to come here and be who I've always been. Recently, some details of the, uh, the Mamba camp have come out, and you were one of the participants. Yeah. Just what happened behind those, uh, those doors in those two days? Um, a lot. I mean, Kobe Bryant's arguably the best basketball player to ever play. So for him to be there six hours of the day, both days, and really be hands-on, answer questions, talk about different things, what he sees in different guys' games. It's like, I've had a relationship with Kobe for a while, so I've always had that one-on-one -on -one with him. But to see him in that setting and such great players be in that setting and be able to compete and be able to learn from Kobe Bryant is like, that was one of the best two days of my life. Um, Basketball-wise, we watched film with him. We did mind things with him. Like, we did a lot. I don't want to say all the things, because he might, he might get mad. He was trying to keep that really, like, where nobody knows what went down. But it was a great two days where you learned a lot from, from the best player to play the game. Mind things? Yeah, I'm not going to get in detail. He, he does weird things, but I guess, <laughs> I mean, if he does it, it works. So, <laughs> But it was great. It was great, two days. You've been here at least a month. Yeah. Brad's been here. John's been here. How many times have you brought up that 2017 playoff series? <laughs> they bring it up. I, I try not to bring up the past. Like, that was, I don't really like talking about the past, but. Everybody here brings it up, so I try not to bring it up, but they always talk about the 53 points and how I was killing them. But, you know, me, me and John have been friends since high school. Me and Brad are building a relationship now. So, you know, it, when we battle on five on five, it comes out every now and then. Like, they know what it really is. So. <laughs> but, you know, it's all funny games. So I, I, I love those guys. They bring the best out of me. In that series, they brought the best out of me, and you know, it was great players competing and trying to win a series. So it comes up from them, not from me. Hey, so Isaiah, you rocking the cornrows now. You back in the DC area. Allen Iverson was your favorite player, right? Mm -hmm. I think growing up. Yeah. So have you been able to connect with him since you've been here? Not since I've been here, but it's somebody I always talk to. I mean, at least a couple times a month. But I haven't been able to connect with him since I've been here. Um, I've been busy, you know, making this transition, but. I guess I am trying to bring my, you know, Allen Iverson to, to you know, the DMV and, and try to, you know, just bring excitement. I'm not saying back because it's always been exciting here with Brad and John and those guys, but, you know, a different type of excitement from a little guy, you know. Hi, Isaiah. Um, I'd like to um, ask you two questions. One is, um, how do you see, as a rookie, Rui, um, 